Hey, welcome to Kate Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you episode 5 of my birthday card series. Let's get started. To kick things off, I've got some watercolor paper here that I picked up from Beatniks, and we're going to be using that. I've gone ahead and used the largest of the outside in stitched rectangle die, and we are going to take some low tack tape and we are just going to mask off the edges around where the stitched is. Now, if you don't watch Jordy's cards, I suggest you head over there and watch some of her magic because she uses the same technique where she masks off the edges and it gives her a white border around what she's doing. And I absolutely love this technique. It's not my first rodeo. I tend to implement it now going forward with all my cards because it just looks awesome. So here we have got some distressed ink in blueprint sketch prized ribbon and salvage patina and I have a watercolor pen here that I got in a hero arts kit a long time ago and we're going to do a little bit of messy watercoloring. Now I'm going in with some of the salvaged patina and just adding a little bit of here and there. I, I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing other than trying to pick up cat hair off of my project because for some reason Nova's cat hair is like magnets to my projects sometimes, especially when I'm working with wet things. <laughs> and I should know better than to pick her up while I'm working on a project because she was just being too damn cute. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going back and forth with the color here, having some darker spots, having some lighter spots, and then I'll drop in some water dots here, and then I'll pick up some of the color with the water pen in the blueprint sketch. Now, on, I, honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just adding in color as I go. My idea for this was to create some kind of water pool scene because, like the title says, this is part of a birthday card series. And this birthday card was actually for my niece, who recently turned 13. So if everybody wants to drop her a happy birthday in the comment section below, I'm sure her mom will let her know that everybody says hi. <laughs> so with that being said, we are going to go in with the next color, which is this prized ribbon. And again, I'm adding in more color and more water to deepen the color here. Again, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm just making a big old mess. And I'm having fun, because that's what I do. And if you recreate this and you've got a better technique, or you know of a better technique to create water, I'd, I'd love to hear about it. Because I am not versed in the Distress Ink line. I am more comfortable using the Oxides, but I don't know that you can really paint all that much with Distress Oxides. I know I've seen plenty of people paint with the distress ink, but I don't know, I'm hoping to go outside of my comfort zone and be able to use the inks a little bit more and, you know, <laughs> I just keep going back and forth with the colors that I have. I'll make sure to leave all of the titles of the car colors in the description box below in case you decide to recreate this again. If you do, let me know. So I've gone with the paper towel and picked it up. Again, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of winging it. I'll let that dry. And once that's dry, I'll come in with some of my Fine Tech iridescent watercolors. And we are going to use the, I think that's the chroma, no, that's the sapphire blue in the iridescent watercolor. So I'm going to be going in with some iridescent watercolors in the blue and then I'll be using the Fine Tech Pearlescent in the high chroma blue and the sapphire blue. And I do keep up going back and forth with these colors just to kind of give me an idea of where I need to be going. I wanted to create depth and shadow and I really didn't know how to do that. I mean, I haven't really watercolor painted in a long time. I remember taking classes when I was like 11 from a local artist. She had a small gallery over in Old Walkerville where I've done some of my markets. And I think she's still around. I'm not sure. But she had art classes in a basement of like a hundred year old building. And I remember thinking it was kind of creepy cool as a kid. <laughs> But yeah, that's probably the extent of my watercolor was from when I was, you know, 
one, oh, well, 11. That would have been like 91. So I'm just dating myself here. Don't mind me. So here we're going to go back in with some more of that pearlescent color and we're just going to add some splatter and splatter and that's a little bit of a darker blue so I'm going to go back in with some of that um, iridescent color and we're going to splatter that on top too and I'm really hoping this is going to look like a pool when I'm done and while it's still wet I'm just going to add in some wow embossing glitter I'm going to hit that with my heat gun and pick out the cat hair sorry cat hair she got up on my desk I couldn't help it but once I'm done with all of that, then we are able to dust off the color, well not the color, the wow embossing powder back onto that. I probably shouldn't have done this on my um, mat here. I should have probably taken it off and done that, but I was careful. So I've got here the ripple stitched backdrop die from Lawn Fawn and we're just going to tape my panel down onto the die itself and we're going to run that through the die press so I get that stitch ripple effect on my my project here and that way it adds a little bit more texture now off camera I gone ahead and colored and cut everything I was going to leave the coloring in the video but this was already long enough and yeah I didn't want you to sit there through the coloring and yeah this was the focal point I guess of my my, my piece here was the the background because it was something new I hadn't done and I kind of wanted to share what I had going on. So here I've got some foam tape and I'm just cutting the strip here to fit into the background there. Well, not the background, but on the background panel, I should say. That way I don't have any spots that are going to sag or anything like that because they're going to be floating in the water. Now this stuff here, I don't know if I got it from Michael's on discount or if it came from the dollar store, but it's kind of like a, a vinyl paper, um, but it's got like a blue glitter in it and it doesn't shed or anything like that. It's just some kind of plastic paper. I don't know. I can't remember where I got it. I really do like it. I think it's neat, but I think it's one of the few colors I have. I might have another one. I don't know. And because I like saving paper, uh, I cut out the center of it with the second largest outside in stitched rectangle die. And that way I could use that for another card. And because my card panel is a little bit smaller than my card itself, I'm just going to trim off that edge right there. Just to my like make it all nice and, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> So now I'm going to take off this strip here because it's not lying as nice as I would like it to be and I'm going to add in a smaller bit right here that way it, it'll it'll lie flat. I mean I don't really need to put this much foam tape on the back. I was just being a little extra because sometimes that's what happens and this actually went through the mail so because it went through the mail I think I used regular postage for it I didn't want it to you know sag or anything like that or get crunched so I figured why not with the extra foam tape right so once I've added some glue to that I'm gonna carefully line everybody up and pad that down and then that way I can start gluing on my critters so we've got a little bit of a sentiment here from the actual stamp set itself and it says make a splash and I used a banner die to cut it out and then next is to glue everybody down. So to make life a lot easier on myself I'm just gonna go in with some of this uh, Lawn Fawn liquid glue and I'll glue down the little floaty um, donuts, circles, whatever you want to call them first and then I'll glue down my characters or my critters and uh, Use like a little stamping block here just to kind of, I mean, it probably would have made a lot more sense had I actually glued these guys down to their little donuts first, or had I actually not put the foam tape on the back first. Um, there's a lot of coulda, shoulda, whatas, but sometimes I don't necessarily think things through while I'm making it. I was just kind of happy how that background turned out with the watercolor because I wasn't sure what I was doing. You know, sometimes I never know what I'm doing. Sometimes I have an idea in my head and hope for the best when I try to make the idea or put the idea into reality. You know, sometimes I don't always execute it perfectly. And other times I nail it. But most of the time it's always a challenge for me. So 
Once I've got all these guys down, sorry, it's a lot of gluing. This card was long. <laughs> and this is my last birthday card one for a while, so, you know, I'm hoping hoping to get into some fun stuff. I'm hoping to get into some fall stuff in August. Um, I have had, at the time of this recording, I, you know, had my, I'm on my vacation, and I have just gone camping, and I'm covered in bug bites, and... Well, my knees down are covered in bug bites for some reason. They love my legs, but not the rest of me. Even though I did spray myself with bug spray. But, yeah, I got to go camping. I got to have fun. And then I'm going to visit some family uh, down south. And I'm going to be in the sun. And we're going to do some exploring. And it's going to be great. And then it'll be back to reality. But... By the time this airs, I'll have been back home, and I'll have probably had a really long nap. <laughs> because vacation time is a whirlwind time most of the time for me. I don't get vacation time often, and when I do, it's like, let's see how much we can jam-pack into that one week that we're off. Why not, huh? So, with that being said, I've got this little white gel pen here. I think it's a 1.0 in the Uniball. Uh, it's like my new white gel pen that I got a while back. I mean, new, newer. I still use the Jelly Roll pens, but I don't know. Maybe I need to clean them off. I don't know. But I'm just adding in some dots and some dashes. And then once I'm done that, here is my finished card. It says, yay, make a splash. So I've also gone in there with some Wink of Stella on the inner tube and whatnot. And then when you open it up, it says, have a magical birthday. And this completes my birthday card series. If you would like to see what I come up with next, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.